obviously you've got to manage without on a KC unless, I, 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 well, let's, let's just check, are you appealing it? Can you appeal? Is there anything I, you I, I think you can appeal it, but we're not going to appeal it because at the end of the day, it was far away from where I was standing. I've saw the tape back ten times. It still doesn't make anything conclusive or inconclusive. The referee was the closest to the, the action. He probably felt it was a red card. That's his opinion. There was no treatment to the player. The, the guy played on, there was no real incident as such, it's not as if it's a, a real strong challenge and the guys were getting, getting treatment. So, um, but unfortunately the referee's made his decision and we're just going to have to swallow it I think in the end and, um, and we move on. So you do have to manage with ice, Oli Casey, yes. this week. Um, Bailey Cargill was on the bench for you last weekend but was on you sub. Is he Strong enough yet to be in contention as he's been working his way back? Yes, he's, he's, he's in contention, he's been in the squad. Um, he never trained yesterday because we had to go on an astro, astro plastic pitch because of the snow. So he missed training yesterday, but he trained on Tuesday. He trained again today. So um, he's certainly in contention, in contention, yes. And I guess Don Bernard being versatile, he can just play anywhere across that back four. He can, and I actually was quite uh, pleased when he came on. Um, Against Accrington, I know he's alone for a short period of time, but um, he's got experience, Dom, and um, yeah, but I'm, I'm, he can play across, as you said, a number of positions. Bristol Rovers, like Forest Green, came up from League Two last season, but um, they seem to have adapted to the level pretty well. Um, what's Joey Barton like, also as a character? Do you think to to pick your wits against? Do you expect? Yeah, I know a little bit about Joey. Um, he's a good guy, we keep in touch quite often. Um, obviously he's a big Evertonian, so of course when I was a caretaker man, he was always on the phone and texting me and giving me advice and helping me, trying to help me, he's been a good blue. Um, and he obviously he texts me and he called me uh, when I got the father's green job. So we, we did go back a little bit. He's a, a local lad, as you know, and a big Evertonian, so yeah. Um, I look forward to seeing him on Saturday, and obviously he's, he's got a bit of experience in his management journey himself. You know, he's at Fleetwood and now he's at Bristol, so fair play to him. He's doing it the hard way as well. So I look forward to seeing him. And his team can see a few, but they score a lot as well. I don't think anyone else in the, in the bottom half has scored as many as they have. What does that tell you about them? Yeah, I think the striker's got a few goals, isn't they? So they're, uh, they're, they're, a, they're a threat, um, they've got good patterns of play. Um, you know, they, they, they do score goals, but of course then there's a balance to that. So um, hopefully we can score a couple on um, Saturday against them when they're, um, when they're attacking. And it's a West Country derby, so you'll get a good crowd in there. How much full house. Help? It's a full house. I mean, that's, that, that tells you all, it, all, all you need to know. So what can that add to the occasion? Yeah, well obviously it'd be brilliant then, it gets, gets, gets the atmosphere in the ground and um, it'll spur the players on even more. I mean, I think our home, our home fans and our away fans have been great, great with the team, but um, we need to make sure we get behind the team because I think we all know we're in a, a, a very, very difficult position and the fans have really got to support the team right to the end of the match as they've been doing and um, hopefully it's a good, lively match on Saturday and uh, hopefully we can come out with our three points. How's your goalkeeper been this week in training? Yeah, he's trained away well again. Obviously he's got to put back last week, get behind him. You know, you forget about that, then you try to move on. That's all you can do in, in everything in, in football and life, I suppose. You know, if you, you get a bit of a knock, you just get back up, don't you? Um, he's looked lively in training, made a lot of good saves. So hopefully on Saturday he'll make some more. Or maybe he won't make any and we can hopefully there's no shots on goal. Then we'll get a we'll get a clean sheet. I mean, that would be great, wouldn't it? That would be a start. What more do you feel you need to do as a team to get that first win? What more can we do? Um, I don't really know. Keep work, work as hard as you possibly can. I think if all uh, oh, oh, I know is the harder you work, the luckier you get. So we just going to work extremely hard, and hopefully we get a break. I believe that we've been on the wrong side of a few poor decisions and we've we'll just never quite got that break. Um, and hopefully, you know, you need that, you need that in, your, in, in, in football as well, you need a wee break here and there. But the players are working their socks, I think everybody can see how hard they're working. I think they can see the performances. 
Do you know, we're all standing here saying that you were a crap the other day, and no, that wasn't good enough, and that wasn't good enough. There's no being like that. No for where I've been standing anyway. Now, we've got beat off the Ipswich, who's one of the best teams in the division with a massive budget. Every, every other team we've played will be in the fight. Um, and I, I gave on Saturday, what was disappointing when we get the red card, we don't see, we don't see that action. So we, we didn't need time to, to, to recover and, recruit and, and, and regroup. So it was disappointing we conceded right away. Um, but you know, we've just got to keep fine, keep working, keep running, keep doing the right things, keep training, keep being professional. And you just hope that we get, one day we'll get that result and get that reward. But the players deserve, because believe me, they are trying at 100%. Injuries, how's the score? Yeah, we had a few injuries. Big Jamari Clark's had to go back to um, Redden, um, tendon injury, as season's finished. Um, We've got um, Ben Stevenson has had an impact on his knee, um, which is which is going to leave him out for another four or five weeks. I've got um, Charlie McCann again waiting for a scan on an impact on his knee, and um, obviously Big Tyler's went back to Everton as you know. So we're a bit thin on the ground, but that is where we are. That is where, where it is, and um, I've, I've still got enough players there to to fill their roles and to try and you know, get some points on the board.